in filmora 12 when we are using background music in most of the cases the music file is either longer or shorter than the original project length so in most of the cases what we do is we drag and drop the same music file and it ends and restarts just like that which is not professional doesn't sound good and uh, no matter how much we try we cannot make it sound natural so what to do with the power of artificial intelligence filmora 12 is offering you ai audio stretch feature which you can find here and s is the keyboard hotkey so by clicking s you enable ai audio stretch Retime your audio to desired length, no need to cut or repeat music manually. This AI tool will maintain the ending, find the repetitive parts of the music and use it to stretch it. So let's hear it now. Excellent. The ending part is also not messed up. There is no way anyone can tell the audio has been modified so with the help of AI you can do wonders like this. Here is another example where the audio file is shorter than the video so with the help of the same tool you can shorten the audio file to match the video. Let's see what happens. Let's hear the ending part. So this is how this AI tool can be so useful. This was the beginning so definitely this tool works perfectly. Now we will talk about another AI feature of Filmora 12 to enhance your audio. Hello everybody welcome back to another awesome episode of Filmora Tutorials. This is Shukesh and you are watching Gadgets Portal. So the audio file in this video is quite noisy. There is too much wind noise as you can hear. So if you're using your smartphone for vlogging, even though you get really high quality videos, the audio files are not professional quality. And uh, here you get AI speech enhancement in Filmora 12. So turn it on and see magic happen. Hello everybody, welcome back to another awesome episode of Filmora Tutorials. This is Shukesh and you are watching Gadget Sports. So audio is now much clearer. There is no audible wind noise. The pitch is corrected. The volume has gone down a little bit which you can increase. Different denoise tools are also given here which you can toggle like uh, wind removal normal denoise to low medium and strong if you think there is too much reverb in your audio you can use d reverb and uh, hello everybody welcome back to another so this time only reverb has been cut down you also get hum and his removal tools and you can change the parameters awesome episode of filmora tutorials so a very very useful tool for people who don't have professional gear even with professional gear you cannot get studio quality audio when you are outside when it's too windy so with the help of these tools on filmora you can make your videos sound studio quality now before i go i want to show you another awesome audio feature of filmora when we add background music we simply lower background music audio level so that the voice is audible. We also want the music volume to increase when there is no voice in between sentences or I am showing something. So what I can do is simply select the original voice file, double click it, which will take me to the audio tab here in the adjustments. There is something called audio docking. So if I turn it on, Filmora will do it for you. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Welcome back to another awesome episode.
episode of Filmora Tutorials. This is Shukesh and you are watching Gadgets Mode. Awesome. Here I have given a gap in between voices, so let's see what happens. Episode of Filmora Tutorials. This is Shukesh and you are So that's how audio docking works. I hope that this episode was useful. Check the description for other Filmora Tutorials playlist. This is Shukesh signing off.